keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, welcome to this video from footballbetdata.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at first half goals. Um, and this has come about at, as a request from one of our uh, site users. So we're going to show you in this video how you can calculate the percentage of times uh, a team scores a goal in the first half. So we've navigated to the fixtures and results um, section of the website and we've selected E3, which is English League 2, and 2021, the current season, and exported to Excel. Here we have in Excel the export and columns A to S are the standard export from the fixtures and results. You can get more in-depth uh, data by using the data archive, so the score predictions and odds for a range of markets. But all we're interested in here is the first, uh, well, the halftime score. So we can get that quite easily and quickly using the fixtures and results um, part of the website. So navigating back to our data, as I said, columns A to S are the standard output. And we've got the 2021 season for League Two. And what I've done is add in six additional columns to the right hand side, which are helper columns. And I'm going to talk you through the formula here. So starting with the first game and uh, the formula in uh, column T, which is um, half time, uh, first half goals for the home team, sorry, home team first half goals. Uh, we're looking at column G2, which is the half time result. And we're taking the left character from that cell times it by one to convert it to a number, which gives the number of goals scored by the first uh, by the home team. And we do the same for the away team. We're looking at the right uh, character from that text string and converting it to a number by times it by one. And that gives the, um, the away goals scored in the first half. Then we have the uh, home team game played and the away team's games played. Uh, for this video, the, the user wanted to see data where a team had completed five games in the current season. Now that's five games overall. Um, it can be manipulated if you only wanted to see where a team had played five home games or uh, three home games. We can change that formula um, to suit, but this exercise is based around finding where a team had scored, uh, had played five games in total. And this is a count. So you can see here that these are all returning zero because it's the first game of the season. So Barrow have got a zero in here because they haven't played any games before prior to this one. So the way it's calculating this is look, is it this two count ifs combined? So we're doing a count ifs on column C, which is the home team, and we're looking at Barrow as the reference, and we're checking in column A to see how many times they had played where the date was less than A2, so before the 12th of September 2020. And then we add that to a count in column D, which is the away team. So how many times the times they played an away game that match C2, which is Barrow, where again, column A was less than today's date. Uh, the sum of which gives zero. As we said, it's the first game of the season. But as you scroll down, you can start seeing that these numbers increase where teams have started playing two, three, four, five games. And looking further to the right in column X and Y, you can see that there's blank data in here, although there is a formula. As I said, this is because the, the, the member request we had was to uh, start displaying data once a team had played five games in the current season. So you can see anything prior to five uh, is blank. Anything five onwards um, does have data in there. And I'm gonna walk you through the formula now. So we're going to focus on this one because we have a green highlighted cell uh, for Colchester. So um, the way this calculation works is that we, first of all, it looks at where W62, which is cell reference away teams games played, is greater than or equal to five. And as I said, you can set that to three. Um, it could be set to just looking for the uh, the home, home team if you wanted to change this calculation. Um, you can amend it to suit, but for the purpose of this video, we're, we're, we're looking at five or more games played in total by the team, either playing home or away. So <clears throat> once we've established that the, the team has played at least five games, we're, we're doing a count ifs 
So again, similar to where we counted the amount of games played, but this time we're adding in an additional rule to that calculation formula. At the end here, we're saying where t, column t, is greater than zero. So what we're basically saying is where Colchester have had a home game and the date was less than today, um, how many times had they scored at least one goal? So greater than zero. And then we're adding it to, again, the similar formula where column D equaled Colchester. The date was less than the, the date of the, the, the game on that line. And column U, this time away goals, was greater than zero. That gets us a total of how many games prior to this game had Colchester scored in the first half. And then finally, it's divided by the games played, which was five, and that gives 80%. So they would have scored in four games out of their five prior to that game uh, in the first half. In um, at least using conditional formatting. And if we look at the rule, there you go. You can see that it's highlighting anything green that's above 73%. And that can be adapted as well if you wanted 50%, 80%, whatever it is, you could go in and edit that rule and that would automatically change your, your colorings to your uh, criteria. So that formula and conditional formatting is in place right to the end of the season, all the way down. And what we're going to show you now is how do you add additional games or additional leagues to your data output? And it's fairly easy. What we're going to do is go back to the um, Football Bet Data website. Um, I'm just going to pick three random leagues. So we'll select the English Premier League, the Serie A, uh, Segunda in Spain, and then we send that output to Excel. So here's the fresh download that we've just sent to Excel. And we can copy and paste straight from this um, export into our template file. And the quickest way to do it is highlight the first line of data, and then you can use Control, um, Shift, and Arrow down, and that will instantly copy the full data range to the bottom of the output. You can then use Control C or Copy to copy that data, and then we're going to flag back to the um, template and select the first blank row, so the bottom of our data set that we previously had, and then put control V or paste, and that will paste the, um, the new data into the bottom of the existing data. It, depending how many um, games you've got in there, it will um, depend on how quick your calculation is down the bottom. You can see that's now pasted in, and we won't have any of the calculations in place for the newly pasted data but it's very easy to extend that range down. So you just need to select the, the last row of um, uh, formula that we had in place, which was for the English League 2. And then you can either use copy paste or you can drag, or the quickest way is if you hover your mouse towards the bottom right, you'll see that little black crosshair. And a double click of that will populate all the way down for those games that you've just pasted in. Um, again, you'll see the calculation um, bar running through down the bottom there, depending how many games uh, you've added in will depend how quickly that will calculate, but it shouldn't take any more than uh, a, a few seconds. Um, once that's reached 100, we can scroll through and look at the output that we've got uh, from, that, from those three additional leagues. So we've now reached 100. We can scroll to the bottom or scroll our way down here. And you can see that the games are building up towards five again, as we saw the uh, English League 2. And we can start seeing games that are becoming highlighted where teams have played at least five games and they've scored uh, a first half goal in at least 73% of those games. And that will highlight all the way through, all the way down, right to the bottom of the data range and there we are right to the end and obviously these are games that are upcoming so they haven't been played yet and you can do the same you can continue to bolt on additional leagues and then either drag the formula down or use your crosshair or copy and paste 
to extend that as far down as you need. I hope you found that video useful. Thanks for your time.